guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am coming at you with another how-to tutorial um in this case it's going to be the red bandana nail set i will show a picture here um it is stunning i fell in love with it i was supposed to use it for valentine's day and i ended up not doing it just because I was super busy with work and I just didn't have a chance to finish them. But I hope you guys enjoy this um, video on how to create this set and I hope you learned some new techniques. And if you're interested in creating this set, just keep on watching you guys. Okay, so we're gonna start off by measuring. I'm showing you guys a small clip of how I do it. I'm just making sure that it fits from sidewall to sidewall. That's why you see me moving, moving my finger. Um, so this is just it. I am picking out my sizes. I kind of forgot which ones I was in long square, so you guys got a glimpse of it. Um, next up, just placing them on these stands, these gold stands that we do have on our website if anyone is interested, um, and just prepping a little. For these, they were already prepped, um, like filed, so I just needed to file the tip. There's a little tip that comes out um, starting off with base coat. I'm going to show you guys um, all the materials. I like having them spread out here just so I can see what it is that I need to use and I don't forget anything. It's really hard with design sometimes because obviously I need to replicate them. Um, and if I didn't set aside what I needed, sometimes I am like in trouble. Um, here I'm showing you guys that the initial set I did was in a sculpted long coffin. However, as you guys will be able to see in another clip, I am using long square now so I decided I wanted to use long square because I'm super into it right now it is my favorite shape um, and before that when I did these it was sculpted I think long square suits my nails way better I'm gonna be using my crystal katana my trusty crystal katana I use this for everything requiring me to pick up any sort of crystal I 100% recommend this um, it makes it super easy um, as you can you're gonna be able to see I dropped it right now the reason is because I have not taken off that little bit of wax um, you do have to do this every once in a while so that the wax is pretty sticky um, so once I take it off and once I mess up one more time you'll be able to see that I'm able to pick it up even the little chain which is pretty heavy actually so I 100% recommend it going to show you guys a close-up of the different Swarovskis I'm going to be using. I'm using gold ones, AB crystals in different um, sh sizes. Um, I'm also going to be using some red ones um, and I am using, I believe it's scarlet. I'll have to double check and this is the Marquise shape. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> um, I'm also showing you guys a close-up that I do have a little bar. It's barely noticeable on the sides of these diamond shapes. However, in person, it, it does give a little bit of contrast, so it does matter. Even the small details matter. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys this is a little bar um, that I'm talking about that I'll be using. Um, I already showed you guys the necklace, but this one I do sell on the website if anyone is interested. Um, it comes in packs of two, uh, and they're very elegant. I love using it in designs. And then I am also going to be using some gold leaf. Um, I used it in one of the nails. It does give a slight like effect. I think it's important. Um, you can skip this step, but I wouldn't if I were you. And of course, I'm just going to be grabbing them with tweezers. Um, lastly, and one of the most important parts of this design, of course, it's going to be the decal. We cannot forget the decal. That's basically three of the five nails. Um, and it just gives it such a good look. Um, these decals in particular are a bandana decals, the red bandana ones. Um, and we do sell these on our website. My husband is the one that makes them. Um, we make them in house, we ship them out. Um, and if you're a nail tech or press on nail business, then you definitely need these. These are some of the ones that I have here on my desk. So I'm just showing you guys a different variety that we have. We have way more, but these are just the ones that are here. So one thing I do want to point out is that I'm going to be using clear rubber top coat from the gel bottle. Um, I 100% recommend this product. It's like a builder gel but in a bottle. Um, it's very thick consistency and the nails that I'm showing um, you guys is the ones that I am putting this clear rubber top coat on so that I'm able to adhere these stones. It's super easy to use. Lastly, I will show you guys the color that I'm going to be putting underneath um, these decals, which is um, Candy by the Gel Bottle. As you can see, I'm flipping them over. I do use a base color um, just in case the decal doesn't cover parts of the nail, like the sidewalls, then it doesn't matter because Candy is at the bottom. 
um, this is the color here so it is a bright um, red super pretty definitely recommend the gel bottle colors um, like I said if you have the gel bottle this is color candy I'm starting off by putting um, the color candy on the nails that will have decals on it um, so this is just the first coat I'm gonna put a second coat and I will be back to show you guys what that looks like next up are these gold leaf pieces for the nail that I was just showing you guys super easy to use just use the tweezers kind of pull at it um, there's no right or wrong way to do this uh, you just want medium size gold leaf pieces medium and small you don't want them too big but it really doesn't matter it's up to you and the look that you want I'm gonna be using the tweezers and also my fingers to kind of press down you want to make sure that it's pretty flat so that when it comes time to encapsulate um, you won't have any problems or something will be sticking out um, you definitely don't want anything that is like gonna scratch um, the client but here I'm just gonna continue doing this until I am satisfied with the look I don't want to completely fill it up like I'm showing you here. It's a bit, bit sparse and the um, little jewels are going to cover part of it as well. It's just a little hint of gold. Okay, next up is to put a thin layer of base coat. The reason why is because with this um, clear rubber top coat that I will be using in order to enca encapsulate slash put on um, the jewels, if you don't put a layer that kind of um, flattens out the gold leaf and seals it in slightly, uh, it's gonna come, it's gonna lift up with it because it's so thick. You'll see what I mean. Just trust me. <laughs> Save yourself the trouble of having to redo the whole entire nail um, and just put the base coat on it. <laughs> um, next up is going to be these nail decals. We're going to start off by cutting the ones that we need. Um, they come in three different sizes, so make sure that you get one that is wide enough so it covers your whole nail. You as well don't want to start over with this step, although if you do have to, it's not as hard. You just kind of peel it off. I'm using this water pump. Um, it's super easy, convenient. Um, I just have it near my desk and just pump out the water that I need. That way I'm not wasting it and it's, it's just convenient. Um, you're going to need some little scissors as well. Um, and I'm just uh, selecting the ones that I want. You're going to see me right here trying to measure out, make sure that it is thick enough, like I said, and then just start cutting. Um, for these decals and some of our other decals in particular, uh, the design does vary. Uh, so make sure you select the one that you would like and that you select the same one if you care about that for your other hand. Um, so that's why I am skipping one of the rows and um, cutting another row. Um, I'm just going to continue this process, just selecting, making sure that it's white enough, and then we'll move on to actually placing the decal. Okay, so voy a empezar con el dedo índice. And now that we figured out which one we're going to use, I'm starting off my index finger. Um, just double checking okay. one more time. Primero que en todo es que lo vamos a meter aquí <laughs> en el agua. Um, asegurándose I'm que esté todo aplanado. So uh, y que la tendencia es que se va a querer curvear uh, hacia arriba. Queremos que so las partes de abajo y de arriba también se puedan deslizar um, fácilmente. Entonces, pues lo estoy um, agarrando aquí para asegurar que ya lo puedo dura muchísimo tiempo. Para poder ser quitar, yo digo que no sé, unos 15 segundos a 20 segundos máximo. Y aquí déjenme voy a tratar si miren. Aquí ya se va deslizando, si pueden ver. Vamos a agarrar una toallita como esta para poder quitar el exceso de agua. Okay, por ambos lados. That we have the design where we want it, it's aligned. Um, and then I'm just moving it around to kind of see where I want the design. You're going to be able to notice that the sides are a little bit lifted, don't worry, and that they're a little bit wrinkly. Um, I pulled out my scissors, and a little trick is to cut um, into the sides a little um, so that you're able to lay it flat in parts without those big wrinkles. So, if you've ever worked with decals, this is a huge problem sometimes or inconvenience um, that they have so this is the trick just cut into like little slits on the sides 
and you will see that it makes it a lot easier and I'm basically able to uh, press it down in about three parts um, so it's a lot easier now that we have it all laying flat um, we're gonna take a file um, I'm gonna show you here 100 and 180 is the grit that I have um, and just file off the excess it's super easy um, just put a little bit of pressure and now that it's all laying kind of downwards it should be pretty simple and easy just file on downwards direction um, and then it'll all come off so you'll put on the decals and the remainder of the nails that you want um, the decals in um, and then I am moving on to my favorite part which is all the jewels um, so I'm putting a layer of the clear rubber top coat um, just take your time if you're using something like this uh, it does there is a learning curve to it I will say that at first I hated it hubby hated it <laughs> so it just just takes practice but um, you are going to see me go back in where I know I'm going to be putting um, more jewels or bigger jewels. I'm going to be putting a thicker layer or just like kind of dots of the clear rubber top coat, but just in those sections. Um, you do want to make sure that you have a um, even layer at first. Uh, so that's why I'm taking a little bit longer here. Um, but after that, I will just be doing this to all the nails that um, have jewels in them, which is the remainder in three. And um, then you guys will see the finished product. So enjoy the jewel process. This is the finished product. I absolutely loved how this came out. If you're not a fan of all these jewels, obviously you may not like this as much as I do, but I am in love with everything jewels. <laughs> um, so I think it's very elegant, but it's also the red is such a nice color. Um, I would definitely wear this every day, but if I actually had to pick an event, uh, maybe a wedding or a Valentine's Day, or anything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned some new techniques. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below and with that I will see you guys in the next video bye guys Bye.